Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. Happy to see you again. In this tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to create a mechanical model. In the process of creating this model, you will learn the applications of normal tracking and polar tracking in 3D. You will also learn the procedure to split a complex mechanical component into smaller units and you will learn the procedure to combine these units to make a single mechanical model. Before we move on, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my all future video uploads. So all these things and more is coming up, so stay tuned. This mechanical figure can be split into three parts. This is the first component and this is the second one and the third one. We can create each component by creating the corresponding profiles, then we can extrude it. Let's create the first component by creating this profile which you see in the red color. All the dimensions required to create this profile is given in the figure. Now I'll change my view from top to southwest isometric view by clicking on this particular hotspot of the view cube. Now I change my view. When you look at the figure, you can see that this is the left face. So I should align the UCS with the left face to create this profile. So I'll click on visualize tab, then I'll click on left from the pop-up in the coordinate panel. Now I'll create a polyline profile, then I'll start from here. Here this distance is 70 and this is 55. So I'll start from a point here, then I'll turn my ortho mode on, then I'll type 70. Now it has gone outside the screen, so I'll just give an enter and double tap the scroll wheel to bring the entire line within the screen. Now I'll turn off the grid since it's not required. Now I'll continue my polyline from this end point through distance of 55 straight up this distance. Then I'll plot this distance which is 25 and you can see that the next line is inclined with the horizontal through distance of 45 degrees. So you can activate the polar tracking and make sure that 45, 90, 135 angular combination is active. Now when I move my mouse you can see that the cursor snaps at an interval of 45 degrees. It snaps at 45 degrees here, then the next 45 degrees and it has again snapped at 45 degrees. Now I need to actually locate this particular point which is actually an intersection of this inclined line and a vertical line which starts from this end point. In order to get that intersection point and when I reach 45 degree snapping point I'll stop there then I'll track this particular end point then when you move the mouse you can see that you will get that point of intersection here. You can just click that point and you can come back to this point. Hence you have got this point of intersection. Next we have to create uh, this cutout. For that we have to first locate this point. You know that this point is at a distance of 22 units from this end point and this end point is at a distance of 15 units from this end point and the depth of this cutout is 15. So let's plot points using the from point option of object snapping. So I'll start with the polyline, hold down the shift key and right button of the mouse and I'll choose from point. You know that from point will let you locate any point based on a reference point. Now I actually want to locate uh, this point based on this point. Now it is asking for a base point, base point is this end point, now offset and offset is nothing but the distance from the base point. So I'll give at the rate 22 less than 135. 135 is the angle. Now I am using polar coordinate entry method. Please click on the link provided at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section if you need any clarifications on point plotting techniques. Now I'll give 135. So this point is located at a distance of 22 units. Next I'll draw a line like this, a vertical line at an arbitrary length. Next I'll again draw a polyline from point. Now base point is this particular point and you know that this point is at a distance of 15 units. 
So I'll give at the rate, again polar coordinates, 15 less than 135. Next, I'll draw this vertical line straight down through a distance of 15 units. Then shift right click, take perpendicular and connect with this vertical line. Next, I'll give trim. So I'll go to trim command, give enter and just trim off unwanted lines. Next, you have to convert this into a single profile before you extrude it. Now I'll go to join command, click on join in the modify panel and select all these profiles. Now you can see that it is converted as a single profile. Next, you can click on extrude and select this profile. It will ask you for height of extrusion, which is 15. Hence, we have created the first component. Next, we will create this particular component, which is the second component. For that, I'll create this profile, which is shown in red color, then I'll extrude that profile. The dimensions required to create this profile is given in the figure. So let's create the profile. Before we create the profile, we have to align the UCS with the right plane. Now, to create such a profile, you have to align the UCS with the front face. How will you know that it has to be aligned with the front face? In fact, the various faces of an object in 3D can be identified based on the World Coordinate Setup or WCS. The easiest method to switch over to WCS from the current Coordinate Setup is, you can just click on the Coordinates pop-up right below the view cube and you can choose WCS from here. Now you can see that this is the front face and this face is parallel to the front face. Next, you have to align the UCS with the front face. For that, you have to go to Visualize tab then you click on front. Now it is taken to the front face. Next I'll create the profile. I'll start from a point here, then move down. And this distance is 50 minus 15, that is 35 units. So polyline from here straight down towards left, 35 units. Then straight up, I'll pick an arbitrary point here. Then I'll continue with the polyline from here and make sure that your 30, 60, 90 polar tracking is active. Now move the mouse. When the cursor snaps at 30 degrees, you can track this point and you will get a point of intersection here. Then you can come back to this point. Next, you have to connect these segments to a single profile. So click on modify, join and join all these profiles. Now it's a single profile. Next, you have to give a height of extrusion of 15. So go to extrude and select this profile and give a height of extrusion of 15. Next, let's create the third component. For that, we will stick to the same procedure. We will create the profile and extrude. We will create the profile shown in red color. All the dimensions required to create this profile is given in the figure. Before we create the profile, we have to align the UCS. Now the profile is to be created on the left face. So go to visualize tab and align the UCS with the left face. Next I'll create the profile. I'll start from here. Now you know that this point is located at a distance of 20 units from here because this is 70 and this is 50. And in order to locate this point, I'm not going to make use of the from point option. But instead, I'm going to make use of another simple option in AutoCAD that is called extension snapping. But before you use that option, make sure that extension is on in object snapping. Now you can draw a polyline. Then you just keep the cursor over here to track this point. Now keep the cursor in the leftward direction and you can simply type the distance of 20 units. Now this point is at a distance of 20 units from this end point. Next you can come to this end point and this height is given as 23. So turn the ortho mode on. If it is not on, then type 23 and right click and close. So this profile is created. Next, you can extrude this through this distance, which is 50 minus 15. That is 35. So extrude. And when you're asked to give the extrusion height, you can either give a distance or you can pick a point so that that particular height will be taken as the height of extrusion. Next, you have to combine all these objects into a single unit using the union command. So I'll click on union and I'll select all these components. 
Hence, we have completed this figure. Hi, hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button of this video if you liked it. Until I catch you in the next video with another interesting topic. Bye bye and take care. May God bless you all.